10 days since her parents were killed and she went missing from her home in Barron, Wisconsin. Here's WCCO's Susan Elizabeth Littlefield. Emotional afternoon as this is the first time we're hearing from those most deeply affected by Jamie's disappearance. Her family, you'll hear from them in just a few minutes. But first, we want to show you some video from earlier today. This is video of officers at Jamie's house. That is the place where both her parents were killed. WCCO was the only camera on scene when officers carried several items out of the Kloss home. There were bags and boxes and a mattress. The sheriff says they brought a new team in to process new evidence. This has been a surreal 10 days for this small town. Words of support and countless prayers for young Jamie Kloss. The sheriff says they are not letting up. And Jamie's two aunts stood in front of a crowd today for the first time, and as you're about to see, it was quite powerful. Jamie, not a moment goes by when we aren't thinking of you and praying for you. Your family and friends miss you so much. Your sparkling eyes, your bright smile, your soft little giggles. Your dog Molly is waiting for you. She's sleeping in one of your sweatshirts and will only eat chicken. Grandpa needs new artwork on his fridge. Aunt Susie wants to go jogging in the park with you. And I want that girl shopping date we planned. I even brought your favorite iced coffee with me today. And that family has so much to deal with. There is a funeral for Jamie's parents this weekend, Saturday at 1 p.m. at St. Peter's Catholic Church in Cameron. Something else new in the investigation today. It was announced there is a reward for $25,000 for any information helping officers figure out where Jamie Kloss is. In Barron, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. Keep watching WCCO on TV and online for continuing coverage in the search for Jamie Kloss.